Nice to see you again. I haven't done videos in a while, so I'm really glad to be back. So thanks for being here today. Well, this evening. I thought I'd try doing it in the evening and see what happens. I'm having problems with lighting. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, today this is a parenting tip, or this evening it's a parenting tip. Um, I tell my families that I have a bag of tricks when I talk to my parents uh, as a teacher. I've been teaching 25 years now, can you believe that? And today I'm going to give you a bag of tricks. So here's my bag, my metaphorical bag of tricks. Now this is actually a brand new purse I just got. Thank you, Alex. He bought it for me and said, oh my gosh, mom would love that. Right, Katie? You guys said, that looks like something mom would love, so I'm agreeing with them. Well, anyhow, this bag is just, in your mind, a bag that maybe would be attached to you somehow. And I actually say I have a bag of tricks, but I actually reach into a bag that's, you know, more like my brain. Whoosh, and get a new trick and see if I can use that on a child. So, I first want to tell you that all kids are super different, just like adults are super different. So what worked for you when you were a kid, because your parents were a certain way, doesn't mean that your kids are going to respond to things like you think they are. For example, if my dad yelled at me, it like totally made me feel awesome. I'm like, yeah, my dad's yelling for me. I better go do what he says. <laughs> and that's all I needed. And if he said, good job, Nick, that's all I needed. And I was golden, you know, or um, he would do this horrible whistle. <laughs> and it was just the worst whistle ever, but it always got my attention. And he would like, you know, give me a thumbs up or he would say, run faster. <laughs> And I would just do what he said, and that worked for me. Um, but if I use that analogy and I think, okay, when I'm in class and I have students that are all different, I have to think, okay, what's going to work for this child? What's going to work for this one this time? And I was having a grumpy day uh, a couple days ago, and I realized, my goodness, the kids aren't listening to me. Well, then I said, okay, I'm going to change it up. I'm going to get into my bag of trips, tricks, pull out some some special, special magic, and I'm going to see if something else will work. So I went over to the cubbies, and kids were taking a really long time to go sit at the carpet. I went and gave them a hug, and I whispered them, Hey, kiddos, good job. Thank you. Okay, go sit down on the carpet. Go sit down on the carpet. Good job. Good job. So, oh, there's my dog. So, that was that's my hint for you today. Go ahead and try whispering to your child. Give it a try. Sometimes it could be to tell them they're doing a good job. Or sometimes it could be to tell them that they need to stop touching things in the store. Honey, stop touching things in the store or you don't get candy at the end. You know, you just use your soft voice, then you're still getting your point across, but you didn't have to yell and there were no fits. Or if you're right in the middle of a, of a big fit and your child is crying and trying to get attention and try to get their way, you go up into their ear and you say, you need to stop right now. That fit is not going to work for me. And you'll lose all your video game time. <laughs> And video games have always helped <laughs> either video game time or a play date. That play date that you had, it's going to have to be canceled because you're not going to embarrass me at the store. So, you know, you need that trick. So using a different tone of voice now and then, okay? All right. This is not you. It's my tax lady. Okay. Have a great day, uh, moms and dads. Try to use the trick and add it to your bag of tricks, okay? Take care. Bye.